Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lindsay and welcome to Lindsay's World. I sounded like I had a weird almost American accent there. <laughs> anyway, as you can see from the title today we're going to talk about the fact that I'm going back to Florida next year. Guys seriously, I am so excited I had to put my ears on for this video. So I haven't been to Florida for three years now and if you know me at all in the slightest you will know that Florida is my happy place we my husband and I absolutely love our holidays in Florida this will be our seventh time being out there and honestly I cry every time I come home I just don't want to come home so anyway I decided so that I don't go insane this year as a beautician getting everybody holiday ready especially doing so many nails as we do in my beauty salon um, I've loads of people going away on holiday and it breaks my heart a little every time I get somebody ready when they're going to Florida. So I thought, how do I actually get myself through the rest of this year and next until I'm going away? I know, instead of just doing health and beauty vlogs, I'm going to do videos talking about my love of Florida. So here we are in the first ever video and this is my announcement of I'm going back in 2020. I am so excited. We're under the 300 day mark and that just makes me so, so very happy. So anyway, sorry, I never wear my hair down and it's being very weird. So anyway, we're going at the start of May and that for us is the perfect time because it's not so hot, it's not so busy and it's not as expensive. We don't have children. That's always the first thing people ask. What age are your kids? And I'm like, uh, 35 and 48. We are the kids. You don't need to have children to go to Florida. That is a total misconception. So in case you live under a rock and don't recognize the accent, we are from Belfast. So um, we have a couple of choices. We can either fly from Belfast, we can head to England, or we can fly from Dublin. For us, the best option is heading down to Dublin, flying with our lingus, which means we can clear immigration in Dublin. We don't have to do that once we get to America, which is brilliant because it saves so much time. And we're in the airport for hours anyway, so you might as well pass some time by doing that. It takes some of the time away from you sitting, twiddling your thumbs for three hours. So it means to say, once we get there, we just grab our bags, and we head on. So we also hire a car whenever we're out there. The first three times we were there, in fact five times out of the six that we've been there we've hired a convertible. The first three times it was a Chrysler Sebring. They no longer make that car so we have had a Ford Mustang the last two times we've been out which my husband is absolutely over the moon with any time we get that because they were a beast of a car. The first one I think was a V6 engine the second one was a V8 and they sound amazing. I do totally understand, you know, why I get so excited. He is a big kid. He loves his cars. So we did look into that again, but we're not sure because it's nearly a thousand pound now to hire that convertible. I mean, I know everything is getting that wee bit more expensive now, but nearly a thousand pound for car hire is a lot. You know, Florida holidays cost so much anyway. Um, so we don't know. We're going to leave it closer to the time because we have been looking at different prices. Um, we looked for it booking really close to May this year and it was a couple of hundred pounds cheaper. So I don't know whether that was just this year's prices and it jumps a lot for next year or whether if you book closer to the time you can get better deals. So we are going to shop around. We like the idea of Alamo for the simple fact that you can skip the line with Alamo so you don't have to go. I mean, I've stood waiting on him for at least an hour in some places waiting to get our car hire. So it's really good if you don't have to do that. Alamo is that wee bit more expensive, but generally not that much. Um, so you just print off this sheet with all the details on it. You go to the line that has the type of car you're hiring and you drive to the exit and someone scans a barcode and that's it, you're on your way. So there's two time savers already, which I love that. Um, we also stay in a villa now whenever we head out. It's one of those things, once we did it, it was really hard to actually 
get our head around the idea of staying in a hotel. So we stay in a villa, which again is that wee bit more expensive, especially because it is just the two of us. Um, but I love having my own space. And I will talk about that in other videos more about how it helps me and stuff. But anyway, we love having our own space. We love having our own escape from everything. So staying in our villa, uh, in a villa, makes sense for us. So with the villa, um, we've booked directly with the villa owner this time. We have done the allocation on arrival, which again, you have to go to a welcome center, sign forms, then get your keys and find out where you're staying and then go. Again, this is a time saver because you know exactly where you're staying. So I will link down below, it's Orlando Time Villas on Facebook so that you can pop over. You'll be able to look through so many different people who have their own villas. Um, they are all vetted, they are all insured, you know, they're all checked out before they're allowed to post on there. But what we did and what many other people do is they put a post out saying, this is what we're looking for, this is how many of us, this is our budget, this is when we're going, who is available? give us a quote please and then people will get in touch you'll find a lot of people will send you their links um so we find the one that we're staying with i'm not going to say who and where it is for security reasons um i will do a tour and everything whenever we come back and do a review on them and share details on it after we've already been obviously i don't want everybody and their dog knowing exactly where we're staying before we're staying because that's not fair a on us and be on the villa owner to know, uh, for people to know exactly where their villa is. So anyway, <sighs> that was very long winded. So we've got our flights booked. We don't have car hire yet, but we've got our villa booked. And I'm so excited about that. Where we're staying is a really good location to world drive and stuff. Um, we have stayed in a few different areas within the Kissimmee, Davenport area. Um, We've never, st we've stayed in two hotels. Um, both of those hotels were on Highway 192. One was called Sarah Lago, which is right beside Old Town. It was a brilliant location. It was a basic hotel. And the other one was called Holiday in Nicky Bird. It's changed its name a few times. It's now Red Lion. Um, and it's three quarters of a mile from the entrance to Wild Drive. So that gives you an idea how close it is to Disney. And do you know what? Back then we absolutely loved those hotels. It was great for just a basic put your head down and that's it. But now whenever we go, we do spend that wee bit more time in the villa chilling just with my health and stuff. I need a bit more downtime. So it's good to have your own home comforts. So anyway, we are staying in the villa. Um, Park tickets wise, we haven't booked those yet, but we are looking at what we normally do, which is the Orlando Freedom Pass Plus. I think that's what it's called um, and I will link attraction tickets direct down below to show you which ones we actually get that covers you for 14 days for uh, Universal Studios Islands of Adventure um, Volcano Bay you've got all the four Disney parks you've got their two water parks then you've got SeaWorld Bush Gardens and Aquatica so you've got all those parks unlimited access for 14 days now we only go to bush once um sea world we only really go to once universal and disney will do a few times but whenever you price them for a couple of days here and there it, it works like more than just getting that freedom pass because you have the freedom of going whenever you want in those two weeks so you know you could even go to universal and disney on the same days you know it just it works out better if you're doing a lot of park days. Um, so one of the things we've actually planned to do is we're gonna stay overnight in the Hard Rock Hotel. And what that does for us is it gives you early access into the parks on the days that you, the day that you check in and the day you check out, I think. I must check that you do get early access into the park anyway but you also get the express passes the unlimited express pass which for the basic one we have spent a hundred dollars each on those at times so if you're doing that a couple of times there's like four hundred dollars and this is 306 pound which four hundred dollars at the current exchange rate works out at 316 pounds so for 306 pound 
we're getting a night in a really gorgeous cool hotel at Universal. We're getting um, early access into the park so it means to say we can go straight to like the Harry Potter section and actually have a chance of getting on some of those without waiting for a couple of hours. And also you get the unlimited passes and that's brilliant for the likes of going on the Hulk because Thomas absolutely loves that ride. So we will go on a number of times to that ride. So I'm really excited about that. Next year is also our 10th anniversary. So I'm really excited. Although we did get married in June, but we got married in Florida. So it's going to be nice that we're out there on the year that we're married 10 years. And we're planning to go and stay in Clearwater overnight and go to Bush Gardens. So our plan sort of is to spend the day in Clearwater on the beach, go from early, spend all day on the beach and have lunch somewhere, then stay overnight and then the next morning get up and head to Bush Gardens that day. So that is the plan. Or alternatively, we might head to Bush Gardens and do Bush Gardens all day um, and then head and stay in. That actually makes more sense. Go to Bush Gardens, do everything in Bush Gardens, stay overnight and then do beach and then head back. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, I need to write that down actually. Um, so we really want to do that and then just mark the fact that it is the 10th anniversary of us being married. Um, so yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much all that we've got planned so far. It's two weeks. There is so much to do in Florida. What I say to anybody is be prepared that you'll not get everything done that you actually want to do. But if it's something you fall in love with, you will go back. You know, this will be our seventh time out there. My idea is sort of to go every other year. I'd love to be able to afford to go every single year. I see people going out a couple of times a year. Hey, who knows? Maybe if my salon really takes off, we'll be able to afford to do that. But for now, every other year, I think is, is enough for us. So anyway, guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that bell notification because it really helps you know whenever I've actually put out videos because YouTube is awesome and doesn't tell you unless you actually say, tell me, tell me. So anyway, I have so many video ideas that I want to put out for you guys. Um, the next video I'm going to film is just talking about my health and how I cope being in Florida and how I prepare myself for it, things like that. And then I have a million and one other things that I want to do as well. Um, so anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Also go check out the giveaway that I still have going on. Um, and also check out my weekly vlogs. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye bye.